y'all welcome back to my channel so today's video is going to be a what I got for my birthday 2017 I think probably like my third or fourth video on YouTube I did a what I got for my birthday 2016 so that is super old if you want to go watch that I'll insert a card right here but it's horrible I'm sure the quality is bad I'm sure about it is just like all horrible but if you want to see it I will put a card but we are going to be going through what I did get for my birthday this month um, my birthday was April 6th and um, the day I'm filming this is April 14th. I'm going to hopefully have this up maybe on like the, I don't know, the 18th or something like that. Whatever, Monday or Wednesday of the next week. And hopefully I'll have it up then. If not, it will be up very soon. But I'm going to go to make the quick disclaimer right now. I am no way, shape, or form bragging what I did get for my birthday. I just thought this would be fun to show you guys what I did receive. There are makeup products in here. There's stuff for school. There's just uh, random stuff that I've wanted. Just different things like that. And um, since I did one last year, I figured I would do one again this year. So just a disclaimer, I'm not in any way, shape, or form bragging. So yeah, before we get started, I do need to address something though. I absolutely love my my eye makeup I use these soap and glory palettes I don't think they're amazing but I don't think they're horrible there will be a video up about them soon but I used the uh, benefit do the hula and I hate this stuff it made my makeup so splotchy right here when I applied a uh, powder bronzer on top of it so this will be getting returned I do not like this at all but yeah let's go ahead and jump in the video I hope you guys do enjoy please subscribe and let's go ahead and get started so I'll start with this little um goodie basket I have back here this is from my aunt uncle and my cousin my cousin's like a huge makeup lover too so it's really cute that they put this together there's a lint roller in here which surprisingly or not I actually have it on my car and I actually use it so that comes in handy from time to time. I have this little cosmetics brush cleaner cup and this suction cups to your sink or anything like that. That way you are able to clean your brushes maybe on something more specific instead of a mat. And then they also got this little Soap and Glory Happy Pamper. Yeah, Happy Pamper set. Has the Righteous Butter and Clean On Me Shower Gel. I've wanted to try both of those. This is great and they're travel size. I got some, um, I got some shaving gel and actually has a razor in it, which I did not know that until right now. So that's pretty cool. Has two bottles of the Skin to Mint Skin Therapy Moisturizing Shaving Gel and the Chic Hydro Silk Razor. So that's pretty cool. Like I said, didn't know it had a razor in it until now. And then I thought this was so cute. I'm gonna have to put this on my dog when I bathe her. It's a lipstick little hair net for in the shower. Like if you wanna uh, obviously shower but don't wanna get your hair wet. Or maybe you got your hair freshly dyed and you can't get it wet, just something like that. This is really cute. And then uh, also these cooling eye pads. I have really bad migraines and my migraines and headaches only take place behind my eyes. That's where I get the most pain. So these are perfect to place right over your eyes when you are having issues like that. I really actually like these. I have some right now because they they don't cover my whole entire eye. Then I have this bath bomb. It's a fizzy bath bomb in Island Tranquility. I don't know where she got this from. I think she said TJ Maxx, but I'm not 100% sure, but it smells so good. It's so cute and yellow and like springtimey, but it has that more island, island smell, coconut flowers, just different things like that. And then the best thing out of this whole entire box is what my cousin fa finally found for me because I found it before and I told you guys in a different video, I think. And um, it's the Wet n Wild Precious Petals Highlight. I have crown on my canopy. I used it in a first impressions video. And she found this and included it in my little birthday box because I absolutely love this. It's amazing. I honestly cannot wait to apply it to my cheeks because I've had this stuff sitting like to the side of my vanity for a couple days now because I've been waiting to film this video because as soon as I got home I had homework and school started back so I've been waiting and waiting to use all this stuff so while I'm filming this it's like okay so after I film I can put it all away and finally start playing with everything. One of the big things I did get was a new back backpack from school and one of my college videos it was like how I stay organized for college uh, in that video I show you my backpack currently then it's like an orange adidas one but one thing I didn't like about that is I didn't have enough stuff to fill that one up and that backpack was huge so it like sagged down really hurt my back so I actually end up getting this um, Vera Bradley backpack Pack and I love this so much. It has a laptop sleeve, two big zippers, and I think like three storage compartments in here, and two water bottle holders. It's so comfortable and it stays really up, uh, like up on your back, so it doesn't like slouch your back down from being too heavy. It is perfect. And this was originally $109, and I got it 50% off, so I think I only paid like 52 bucks for it. 
it is a great i am so glad i did get this i did have a gift card so obviously i bought it with that my first little ulta bag of goodies this has a bunch of stuff in it that i've been wanting to try and the first thing that i was most excited about was benefit cheek parade palette last year this got the first one got released around my birthday and my cousin got it I didn't get it I don't know why I'm one of those people that will sit there and kind of like not argue with themselves but I'll justify everything somehow I justified that I didn't need that and I automatically regretted not getting it so this this one got released I was like I don't care what I tell myself I'm picking this up and honestly I am so happy I got this because their box products retail around $30 a piece and I believe this palette's like $54, I could be wrong. And it has over a $100 value. And honestly, like, oh my gosh, this looks so pretty. And it has their new California shade, it has their new Hula light shade, has Hula, Dandelion, and Rockateur. So this is awesome. I really cannot wait to play with this. And then in that same little Ulta trip, I did get my birthday gift from Ulta. It's the Lancome Mascara. It's the Monsieur Big. I don't, I'm not too sure. I really, really wish it was the birthday gift from like last year. My stepmom got like an Urban Decay eyeshadow full size. I'm like, why can't I get cool birthday gifts like that? I got a freaking mascara. I don't even need a mascara, but yeah. And then um, this was on their 21 Days of Beauty. I did get the Tarte Highlighter and a Stunner. And I only paid like $12, I think, for this because it was on their 21 Days of Beauty. And this is beyond gorgeous. I absolutely love the shade. I really wanted Exposed, but they were completely out of that one. So this is the other one I wanted, and I'm very happy I went with this. I was gonna get one regardless. I just had to find one I wanted. And then the last day of 21 Days of Beauty, they had the um, ABH Brow Wiz, and I was deb debating on getting that, but I don't really use brow pencils. And to be the honest, Anastasia Brow Wiz seems kind of dry like the NYX Micro Brow, so I didn't think I would like it. And then two other things I wanted to try. I got this because it was buy one, get one 50% off. And this is the Never 7 Lift and Illuminate Foundation. Kathleen Lights love this. I believe Jessica Braun also does. I'm not 100% sure. I have it in the lightest shade, Cool Vanilla. And I am so excited to try this. And since it was buy one, get one 50% off, I got the Number 7 Skin Illuminator in Nude. This is more illuminating than the Becca Backlight Primer. This is insane. So I cannot wait to try this. I love the Becca Backlight Primer, but this has a stronger luminosity to it. And then I only got two things from Sephora, I believe, or three things. I don't really remember. No, I got three things. So I redeemed 100 points of my uh, Beauty and Center points. I have, I'm like a point hoarder. I have almost 2,000 points now. And I wanted this. I have the full size of it, but of course, the makeup hoarder in me is like, you might as well get that now so you don't run out. And it's a Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. This is the cutest packaging. It's the cutest little black compact. And it says Too Faced on it. It's going to take me a while to go through it because... I mean, it's a bronzer. It takes me forever to go through any type of powder product because I'm constantly switching. But I thought it was cute and it was worth 100 points. And then I did get my birthday gift from them, which I think this is a great birthday gift. I feel like Sephora always outdoes um, Ulta's birthday gifts. And this is the Tarte. I, it's a lip paint and a blush. And the blush is in Parte and the lip paint is in a birthday suit. Yes. So really cute. I love Tarte anything and this blush is pretty big. I have another blush from them that's about the same size. It takes me a while to go through any type of blush and this is like that pretty kind of nude rosy shade. And then same with the lip color. So I'm excited about both of those. I think they're going to be gorgeous. And then I did pick up like two normal size products. I got the Cover FX Perfect Setting Powder. This is in Translucent Light. I recently saw Jessica Braun's video comparing this to the Laura Mercier one. And yeah, I know you definitely get a lot less in the Cover of X powder and you pay like two or three dollars more than Laura Mercier. Laura Mercier, you get a lot more and you pay a little less. But Laura Mercier also has the um, talc ingredient in it. I believe that's how you say it. I've had, I've done some research on it. I believe it can cause cancer and have um, obviously other negative effects on you. And I would much rather purchase this and get less product and pay a little more than 
buy the Laura Mercier one. Um, if she were to make it talc free, I would definitely buy it. But um, I'm very happy with this purchase because I was debating whether or not I was going to get the Laura Mercier or the Cover FX. And then my stepmom has the Too Faced Hangover RX primer. She doesn't know about this, but she's probably going to watch the video. And I took it to Houston and I used it. And oh my gosh, I have dry skin from hell from my acne medicine right now. Always have dry skin. That's why I don't like my makeup today. I just, my acne really looks horrible. And between that Benefit Hula thing, I just don't like it. And this did wonders. It soaked up all my flaky dry skin and my makeup went on gorgeously on top of it. So I bought the full size and it's bad because it's like $30 and I really, really like it. So of course now I'm gonna have to keep rebuying it. I went to Macy's because my grandma got me a Macy's gift card. I got two things. One is extremely bougie and I've wanted it for so long and that's why I bought it. So I, like I said, I picked up these really cute pair of shoes. And I mean, I wasn't in the hunt for shoes but I needed to use that Macy's gift card for something so I picked these up and they were like 30% off which made it even cheaper so I was like uh yes so they're these cute bad boys they kind of lace up around your ankle and you tie them in a little bow and they're like real strappy and black they're so cute I don't know the brand they are by American Rag yeah American Rag so they were on sale at the time I didn't know that but I really like them so those are one of the things and like I said the other thing I did get is extremely bougie and I'm not trying to brag about this, but I've wanted it for so long. And it's the Chanel Soleil, Soleil Tan de Chanel bronzer. I wanted this for so long and it influenced me from Jaclyn Hill. A very long time ago it influenced me. I wasn't gonna buy it then. I had no means to buy it at the time. I had no, I didn't have enough money to buy that. Had a gift card, so I was like, hey, might as well get it. And honestly, guys, it's so pretty. I hope it matches me and I hope it looks good. I'm very nervous about that because it's very expensive. I kept the receipt just in case I need to return it if I don't like it. But other than that, I am very excited about it and I already almost was gonna buy a Dior, I'm not a Dior, a Chanel foundation instead of the shoes, but I got the shoes instead. So I really, really hope the bronzer looks good. Then I got another little couple things from Ulta. And this isn't anything special. I just found something I really wanted for a long time. I got the Equal Tools Perfect Blending Duo Sponges because I want to try these out in a first impressions review video because I've heard they're really good. So I wanted to try them for myself. I'm always about trying these sponges. And then I needed I need to do Duo Lash Glue. And this is the one I love and use so much. It's the Brush On Strip Lash Adhesive. It's the green one. I don't know what's so... I guess the green one's white and clear, I don't know, but I love that one. Then I did get these lashes. They're the Kiss Blooming Lash. Um, I don't know what style they're in, really. It says KBH02, but I thought they were really pretty and fluttery, so I figured I'd try them out. I've never tried any lashes from this brand. And then I have been searching for this for so long, and I finally found an Ulta near me that has it, and it's the BH Cosmetics Shannon XO Palette. I was so excited when I saw this because I didn't want to order it online because I'm impatient. I really, really wanted to try it, and I'm so happy I found it. I was like, this is great. It has uh, nine eyeshadows on one side, and then when you flip it over, it has nine lipsticks. So this is really cool. I bought a lip brush also to go with this. I cannot wait to use this. Like, I've wanted it ever since it came out. I just never ordered it because I don't really like ordering things online that much because I like the instant satisfaction of having it right then and now. And then my last kind of big purchase, I guess you could say, um, I did get, the, get this from the Kate Spade outlet. I really, really wanted a new purse and I got this bad boy. If you haven't seen the What's In My Purse video, I have a kind of similar purse to this, but in cream. And I know it's spring, but I don't currently own a black purse purse and I really wanted one and this one spoke to me I think I only paid like $130 for it and it's originally at 360 so it's a great deal I love this guy it also has the um like cross body strap which I love I don't like big purses um this that's just something I don't like I just going to school or anything like that I don't like having a big like kind of tote to carry around so I definitely like the more compact ones and then I did pick up some like random things at Target like when me and my cousin are together we constantly go to stores and we just 
buy things we've always wanted or we wanted to try and I want to do a um, like full face using like only wet and wild video so I figured I'd get some things from them and they were had they had like a sale that was buy one get one 50% off so it's already cheap but hey I was like might as well get it while they had the sale so I got the wet and wild photo focus setting spray I didn't have a setting spray from them I got their eyeshadow primer and then I also got their photo focus face primer which I've heard really good things about all three of those and then this is new. This is the Wet n Wild Mega Last Retractable Eyeliner. I haven't seen this, so I figured I would try this also. And then I got an e.l.f. small smudge brush for a lip brush for the Shanico palette. And then with the rest of my Macy's gift card, I did get one MAC lipstick that I've wanted for a really, really long time. So I picked it up. It is the MAC lipstick in Velvet Teddy. It's like their special packaging. So I thought this was really cute. I believe they released this with their perfumes and it has just that really pretty kind of beigey brown top. And it's a gorgeous lipstick. There's nothing really special about MAC lipsticks to me in my opinion, but this is just one I really wanted for a long time. So I figured I would get it with the rest of my gift card. And then we went to Ulta um, another day. We went to Ulta a lot. And this was one of the 21 Days of Beauty again. And we got the Bare Minerals Gin Nude Matte Liquid Lipsticks. This was going on throughout the whole days of 21, 21 Days of Beauty. But I didn't know about it for some reason. And then she told me. But we got two shades. This one is in Slay. And then the next shade we did get was in Cookie. This is more of a springtime shade. That's why I got it. But these are really nice and really creamy. They're 50% off, which made them $12, I believe. And I originally, they're normally like $24, $22. That's why I picked them up. Plus, I've been wanting to try them. And then we did pick up some stuff from Walmart because I wanted some different hard candy stuff and Flower Beauty. I got the e.l.f. Baked Highlighter and Blush Gems. I have one in Moonstone and Pinktastic. And I scraped off the tops a couple days ago. And oh my gosh, it made the biggest difference in the pigmentation. So I got this. I'll probably just scrape the top off, but oh well. Then I got the Flower Beauty BB Cream and BB2. Reason I got BB2, which it may be too dark, I'll probably have to lighten it up. My cousin really wanted BB1 and she's a lot fairer than me, so I gave her that one and I got BB2. And then I got the Milani Prep Set Glow Pressed Powder and then the Milani um, Strobe Light in 01. I have 02 of the Strobe Light, it's okay. 01 looks a lot better in my opinion. So I got these two bad boys. And then also the Hard Candy, what is this, Matte Eyeshadow Pro Palette. These are all matte and there's 10 shades in here. Not 10 shades. I don't know how many shades there are, 15 shades. All matte, it's only $10. I got this off of Nicole Renee Cutler's recommendations. I was very, I, I mean, I, justify, I justified myself a lot before I bought this palette. I don't know why. It's really good for the price, but then it's kind of not good at the same time, but I will do a video over it and you will see my thoughts on it. And then my last little bag was just some more stuff we did get from Walmart. I got the Hard Candy Sheer Envy Coconut Water Primer Stick. Again, dry skin, really wanted to try it. And then I got the Wet n Wild All Natural Palette in Nude Awakening and Bare Necessities. I needed this for my Wet n Wild um, video and I really liked both of them and they're only like $4, so I figured I'd get both of them and try both of them out and that is everything I did get for my birthday I hope you guys did enjoy this video and for anybody wondering I did turn 19 um, I'm very blessed and just overwhelmed and so happy with all the products I did pick up people gave me gift cards and everything like that because it's a lot easier to give gift cards than to you know buy gifts that's what I always ask for is just gift cards to places so that's why I was able to get exactly what I wanted but I am blessed and so thankful for all these gifts and again I'm not bragging in any way shape or form I just simply wanted to share this stuff with you guys. So I will put um, what I can down in the description box if you are interested. Any of the stuff, there's one thing I recommend. I would definitely pick up the Benefit palette, their Cheekathon palette. Highly recommend that. So if you guys did enjoy today's video, please subscribe, give it a thumbs up, and comment something just fun and spring down below. Like, tr really trying to get in the spring vibes here. Let me know a um, video idea that you want to see spring-wise. I would really love that. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys later. Bye guys.